Okay, so we learned how to write print function. Yeah. So this is the, can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah, print function. Then you need to write. Bracket, double, double quotes. quotes. And in the double quotes, you write all the messages. Messages that you want to write. Then when you run, it can print it right here. Print it under the one cell. More, one more way to write it that you can write one more print function anytime. And if you want to write some message, hello. So this is the first message. Then you can write comma. Comma, and then you can do the like anything else. Yeah, then you can write another message like this. So using commas, you can write uh, multiple things. Multiple things. And that is called argument. So this is argument. Okay. Function print has uh, two brackets opening two bracket, brackets bracket. and closing bracket. Inside the bracket, you can write arguments, and the arguments can be uh, text like this. Text. Yeah. If writing text, then you should write it in the double quotes like this. Yeah. And if you want to use numbers, then without uh, anything, you should write numbers. Here you can write it without double quotes. No quotes. Like this. So, and when I run this, you can get it. You are 10 in this way. Yeah. So, uh, or you can add numbers like this also. So, it will add the number to your 15. Yes. So, uh, this is the print function. Now, what today we are going to learn how the variables are used. Here we Variables. are writing a text. This is called a string literal. When you yeah. write a value directly into the function, this is called string literal. String literal. Okay. I'll write it here. Literal. Uh, literal value. Literal. Oh, literal. Yes. So when you write a uh, value, literal. Okay. if it is a string, then it is called a string literal. If it is a number, it's called a number literal. Number literal, okay. Whenever you write it directly, that is called literal. That's it. Okay. Sometimes we need to change the values. Sometimes I want this high to be changed to another something else. I want to change the name. Mm. Then I want to change this thing also. So yeah. every time you need to run the program and you need to change. Or if you want to change it, you should come go to your code and then change it. So. Mm. It is better to store these names somewhere and then we can use it directly. And that's where the variable comes. Variable is a memory location in your computer. Your computer has mm. RAM, right? Or your phone. Yeah. That is a memory yeah. of computer. In that memory mm. of computer, there are some storage locations. And in that location, we can store some values. Values. When we store it. We give it a name for that location. And we can use that same name in our program so that our program can go to that location, get the value and use it. Use it. Okay. So right now here in Python, I'm writing the second cell right here. If you want to write a variable, you can directly write. For example, variable is name mm. is equal to. Then you can write your name right here inside double quotes because it is a string. String. A variable. Mm -hmm. So in C++ or on any other languages, you want to write uh, like this. First, you need to write a char. Character. Or char. If it is a number, then you need to write int. Int. So you need to specify the data type of that variable. But here, variable. you need not to do it. In Python, okay. you can directly write variable. Python will automatically understand the type of it. So okay. here I, I am writing the name Raya. Then mm. here, one more thing here. So whenever you are writing your code, see, press enter key and here H is equal to H. 11. 11. So I'll write 11 directly here. Okay, so it will uh, specify the like the variable itself in Python. Yes, variable data type it will understand automatically. Okay. Okay. For example, now uh, percent. For example, you are got 
percent mm. percent of marks percent is a variable is equal to say 98.99 these are the variables now this is the decimal number mm. so decimal number means if you want to write it what is the data type data type is float float okay so here you need not to specify it okay when you are writing numbers you can directly assign it and when you write variable in python just write variable name then name. this is equal which is assignment operator uh -huh. that will assign this value okay, okay. so the uh, like the letters that we write it will be uh, in the double quotes when you are writing letters it should be in the double quotes or single quotes but it okay. should there should be quotes because okay. it is string numbers you can directly write for string you have to write double quotes or single quotes yes compulsory it is okay so here you can write in uh, sentence also not only one name you can write anything but it should be in the double quotes double quotes okay, okay. so now we can use these variables in print function for example mm. now here i'm going to write a print function here print and first i'll write message my name is or let's make it funny say call me this is a message and here write comma comma and write the variable name name yeah here name next hmm. print function so what we have wrote is uh, name equals and then ryan will come yes okay do you think do you think i am now i am here comma when you are writing variable name you can directly write it age. so need to write double quotes for her variable name yeah after the again i am writing comma then in the double quotes i am writing a question mark okay so write question marks so here okay. do you think i am 11 and mm. question mark okay and print here hey i got then i'll put some space here comma percent is a variable so we don't need double quotes okay yeah for the numbers and directly we should not write double quotes and uh, sir hmm. the print do you think i am uh, after that why did you write again the question mark if you could write it i am after i am you will see now why i have written here okay so let's see when i run this well oh okay i get it now so they call me as rayan do you mm -hmm. think i am this is the number after that i need this question mark okay so i have it here okay i got it now hey i got 98.99 marks or percentage mm -hmm. you can write it like this okay. so when you are using variables you should write variables first initialize them that means give some um value to it and then okay. you can use it in the print function sometimes okay. if you write a variable name right here um uh, say my school my my school oh. okay now here i am writing my school now you don't want to write a name of school you will write it later so you cannot put it like this it is better to put it in this way is equal to none and you can give name later so when you write uh, none keyword this is a python keyword see n is capital so yeah. when you write my school is equal to none then this variable has no data type it is not integer it is not float it is not character it has nothing so it, so it doesn't say anything when we write it yes so when i write here print here i'll write school name okay. 
school name dot uh, no comma my school. my school here i am writing underscore whenever you are using variable name you should not write space there instead of space use this underscore to connect them so underscore won't be uh, won't do anything right underscore will be good so that you can uh, read your variables names easily you okay cannot, you cannot put it like this my school no space it will not okay. work so instead of space uh, you use underscore underscore okay okay so we just run this so school name is none because i have set it to none none means yeah. it is not a value it is not value like this rayan or 11 it is a data type there is nothing in that it's uh, okay. empty space now if sure. you want uh, yes instead of putting none if we write nothing nothing will come right no no so if you write here nothing see Thing. No, like I mean, like it's nothing. Like uh, only like only put after. Like yeah. Okay, let's check. Okay. It shows school name to none because whenever when you don't write it explicitly to none, it will automatically take none in this way. None. So okay. Sometimes we need to write it. It is better to write like this. Okay. So we so don't when, forget what it is. Yes, when you want to use a variable now and you don't know what is the value of it, better to write none. And then you can use it later. For example, later. now you want to write. So here you can use my school variable is equal okay. to and here you can write your school name. What is your school name? Uh, uh, Sadbhavna World School. Sadbhavna. Uh, yes. Now you can print it okay. for the printing print or uh, or what we can do we can directly take this code copy and just paste it down here okay one more time so now it will print first school name is done now it is printing school name okay so, so if we remove that uh, my school name is equals to none then it will remove that above the school name is Sadbhavna, right? Which one? Uh, here, my school, yeah. Yeah, here if I remove, for example, I'm keep commenting it now. Commented. Mm -hmm. Commented, so it will do nothing. Yes. But when I run, school name Sweet. is Sadbhavna because mm, okay. we have directly used it here. Yeah, my okay. Sadbhavna. And when you initialize a variable, wherever you are writing that variable, automatically it will take the same value. Okay. So here, see, my school is defined after this print. Hmm. Still it is working. In yeah. C or C++, it will not work. First, you need to specify variable, then use it. Here, we are using it first, then we have initialized it. Still it does uh, work. Okay. So in, other so in other languages, it won't work? Yes, it won't work at all. Because uh, okay. first you need to tell what is the variable name, what is the data type, what is the value, and then it will work. So here what happened? Uh, see, We specify the variable, percent. then we write it. Yeah, name, age, and percent. We have already specified value, and then yeah. we have it here. But the my yeah. school, it's not we have, here. We have first written yeah. it and then specified it. Yeah. So okay. This way it works. So now I'm removing this. Okay. So now there is one more way to write all these things. Okay. For example, when you are writing a variable like this, you need to write a comma here. And if you want to write many variables inside the print function, you need to write many commas. Comma this variable, comma that variable in this way. And sometimes if there are no comma, it will create an error. For example, here. So I, if I remove this comma, when I run, uh, there will be a problem. See, it is showing line number eight, invalid syntax. Because we removed the comma here. So if you don't want to use commas, you can do it. You can directly embed these variables in print function. Without comma also, you can write. Now, how to okay. write it? Let's do it with that again so what i can do is just copy these statements 
copy i'm going to the next cell this cell when i run i'll get everything as it is now let me change so here print they call me as name when i run it you can see the same information okay so now i'm just removing this run now there is nothing here again putting the same code i just want to remove this comma now to remove this comma i want to use the variable directly so what i can do remove the comma and this double quote should go at the end so it has only single double quotes everywhere so i'm writing it double quotes here see they call me as and here you can directly use variable again remove this comma h remove this comma remove this see. so this is our message <clears throat> do you think i am h and double quotes again i am removing this one comma and double quotes that means when you don't want to use commas inside the double quote should be only once starting and ending so uh, so it would just make it like a normal line is uh, make it like a normal line okay Put all the variable inside the double quotes double quotes and it will make it like transform it like this again let it be as it is this one so when i run this see it is what it, it is showing here they call me as name name itself you think okay. age and hey i got percent marks so when you write in the, it in the double quotes variable name you can get the variable name age but now i don't want variable name i want the value inside it value inside it so you just to get commas yeah. to get a value you should use commas. curly braces curly braces curly braces yes around the variable name curly variable so you that will change it to a variable that will change it to value oh value of a variable okay value of variable here so here percent this is the change you need to just use this curly brackets and my school name is my school so all the variables you should put inside this curly brackets so let's run and check what happened see okay still it is getting curly brackets and variable name but it is not getting value to get a value here when you write print function here just write f word wherever you write f see i have written f then double quotes f means format then when i run it you can see they call me as rayan do you think i am 11 it is taking value so if you want to use value of see here you should write it first in the uh, curly braces variable name and then before that to write this print function start with this f character so now here i have not written f character so it is showing variable name if i change it to f and f just run it see it is showing you now values so this is the change so if you don't want to use commas okay. like this, see this one is for comma you so can you use... can just put uh, curly brackets and then write uh, before uh, before the uh, double quote for the double f. quote f oh. and then uh, write all the message in the double quotes inside the double quotes you can write a variable name wherever you want it if you want variable it right here anywhere you can write it but mm. when you write variable name enclose it with curly brackets curly brackets got it yeah okay so let's try this one so i'll give you a program to write so you okay. write it that and you will check okay should i uh, share my screen uh, or... yes uh, okay. i'll share my screen yeah. okay and then you do it later. okay okay so here there is a variable see variable name is cars, cars yes, 100, 100. Cars. 
space is in a car, car 4.0 that driver every car okay. has four uh, in every car four uh, main four, four, or four space four, four seats can fit four seats okay four seats now total drivers available 30 30 See, for example you have ola cars company yeah so we are renting our car so we have total 10 cars available 100 cars available hmm. every car has four seats so four persons can fit in but right now yeah. we have only 30 drivers yeah okay now passengers is equal to 90 total passengers now they are uh, the, uh, demanding 90. our car they are nine demanding okay okay so here what we have done cars not not driven, driven. is equal to cars, cars minus drivers because 70 because we have only 30 drivers and yeah. there are total 100 cars if we subtract it so you will get the number of cars which cannot be driven because there are no drivers we cannot drive we cannot drive yeah now cars driven is how many drivers are there yes so that okay. that cars can be driven so these are the variables created and we are assigning values directly values okay carpool capacity carpool capacity is equal to cars driven multiplied by space in a car that car. Means how many uh, passengers can be driven right now okay that is uh, cars driven that means 30 cars multiplied by 4 4 total uh, 120 can... yeah yes. now average passenger per car this is also variable so okay so yeah yeah calculate average passenger passengers divided, divided by, by cars, cars driven so you get the average and now all these variables so that's are printed three. right here using the message got it yeah Okay, so try writing right now. Okay, I'll just...